how to set up a multi-user session on Packet Tracer. First, you have to set your incoming connection information. Click on Extensions, Multi-User, and then Listen. Notice that the port is already set to 38,000 and Accept Mode is set to Prompt. If you are going to be at your system and available to accept these incoming connections, it is okay to leave it at its default, but in most lab instances, setting this password keeps the uninvited out of your session anyways. So first we're going to set the password, and then we're going to change the accept mode to always accept. This way people and the, those we've invited to our session can connect without us having to be right there on top of our packet tracer session. Then we go ahead and click OK. The multi-user session at this point is now listening for connections. Next, we're going to add some hardware to this scenario. First, we need to add a switch. And in this case, we're going to add a 2950-24. And then next, we need to add a workstation. A generic workstation will do. And I'm going to go ahead and set its IP settings right now. So I go to the fast Ethernet settings. And for the sake of connectivity and testing, just going to set it to a private address, 192.168.0.200, and then a default subnet mask and close that. I now have to connect, of course, the workstation to my switch, so I'll use a copper straight through and go ahead and I'm going to connect that to the last or the 24th port on this switch. Now the last step to set up my multi-user scenario is I have to make a piece of equipment or some ports available for multi-user connection. So I do this by clicking Extensions, Multi-User, and then Port Visibility. Now notice I can set one port, multiple ports, or I can go ahead and make an entire piece of equipment available for multi-user connection. In this case, I'm going to make the entire switch available for multi-user connection. Now let's go ahead and see what it looks like when an actual multi-user connection takes place. Notice, once the peers, my other peers or my other network users connected to my switch, a multi-user cloud appeared and a cable connected to my switch. That multi-user or that individual at another system is now connected to my network.